we're looking at the coefficient of determination, otherwise called R squared. Now this is really, really useful. I'm just going to start applying it and showing you how it works straight away. So I've used this example before. We have our scatter plot here with homework that students did in hours on the x-axis and the maths mark that they received on the y-axis. Now I haven't put any numbers there because they're not important. What is important is finding Pearson's R. Now we know how to calculate Pearson's R. We either put it into our calculator or use Excel to come up with Pearson's R. So Pearson's R in this case is 0 0.7. It's um, correlated, but it's not like a straight line. So let's say 0 0.7. So R equals 0 0.7, which we can say is a moderate positive association. Now, I'm going to calculate R squared, which is exactly what it sounds like. R squared is equal to this R squared. Now, in this particular instance, that's going to be uh, 0 0.7 squared, which is going to be uh, 0 0.49. Okay. Um, now, that's it. I've calculated R squared, but the important part is not being able to calculate R squared, although you have to be able to do that. The important part is interpreting R squared. Now, I'm going to write up the words here because they're very, very important to get correct. So, this is it. R squared equals 0.49, but we write it as a percentage, 49%. Okay, and this is where we start talking. This means that 49% of the variation in maths mark, you can see some people are getting low maths mark, some people are getting high. 49% of the variation in maths mark is explained by the variation in homework. Okay, so what does that mean? It means that 49% of the way that this varies up and down is accounted for by the way that the homework varies up and down. Uh, that means that there's 51% of your maths mark is, or the variation in the maths mark, is determined using other factors. So what could the 51% of variation in maths marks be explained by? What other variables? Well, this was homework, but what about classwork? We've all met those people that don't work very hard in class but do a lot of homework. We've also met those people who don't do a lot of homework but work very hard in class. So the amount of work you do in class is also going to affect your maths mark. Now, a big one for me in my class is questions. Students who ask a lot of questions tend to get higher maths marks. People who don't ask a lot of questions tend to get lower maths marks. So that's another variable that can help to explain the maths mark. What else might explain the maths mark? Uh, maybe like behavior, maybe like attendance. There could be a bunch of variables that affect your maths mark. But what my analysis here has said is that 49% of the variation in maths mark is accounted for just by doing your homework. The 51%, the remaining 51%, could be accounted for by any number of these things. So that's honestly all there is to R squared. Make sure that you know how to calculate that. So you use technology to find R, probably your scientific calculator, and then you just square it and that'll give you R squared. Now you need to express it as a percentage. 0 0.49 becomes 49%, and then you need to be able to write this sentence in there. Um, that's it. That's the coefficient of determination. That's what it means. That's how it works.